y que me traigan aquí. Ya, ya, ya. So if you love salsa and chips, les digo, you're gonna love this one. A ver, abran la boca, open your mouth. Hello and welcome. Today we're gonna be making shrimp and guacamole. If you guys like aguachile, if you like ceviche, you're gonna love this recipe. And for those of you that are scared of shrimp cooked in lemon, don't be. I'm gonna give you a tip at the end of the video that's gonna help you get through it. So let's go over our ingredients. You're gonna need your favorite corn chips or you can skip that. You can just spoonful what I'm gonna show you, but make sure that they're nice and crispy. Because we can't continue to cook unless we're tasting our food, so make sure you taste your chips. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> You're gonna need one small cucumber. I have a large one. And if you guys can see here, I took out the insides because we're gonna blend this into our sauce, but we just need it to be nice. Well, we just need the cucumbers to be nice and, and finely chopped, okay? You don't want these to be too chunky because you want them to fit on your chip. And you guys know I, I'm slowly getting out of my mukbang ways that I'm getting smaller pieces now. <laughs> so you just need some cucumber. Uh, the tomatillo is optional. I know a lot of you have allergies. A serrano, a jalapeño. But if you can't handle the spice, go with your favorite pepper. And if you like it spicy, add another serrano. This is what I'm gonna be doing today. But you guys know, make it comfortable for your home. We're gonna be using four avocados, okay? Just like that. We're gonna be using purple onion. And if you don't have purple onion at home, don't worry, you can use whatever onion you have. Green, white, yellow, it's gonna work. We have about three fourths cup of key lime juice. But I used, I think it was like about 15. So don't stress yourself with the exact measurement. We just wanted to cover our shrimp, okay? I'm over here being bossy mommy with my chips still. Right I'm not done. Right as I zoom in on the chancla. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna need some cilantro and some shrimp. I've already uh, deveined them and cleaned them and you guys know I poop or scoop them out of both ways. I don't play. We're just gonna chop these up really fine. I'm gonna show you guys how to do that right now. Go ahead and take some of your shrimp out. And friends, you asked me a lot about my strainer that I have the other one. I found it on a whim, but I was able to purchase these on Amazon. They come in a pack of three. Um, the link is in the description box area for our Amazon storefront, okay? So go ahead, pour your shrimp, just like that. You gotta own it when you're in the kitchen. And apparently, this one wanted the... Who wants to eat this? You guys wanna eat this? No, Cloud's over there eating chips. Sorry. She's eating on the job, guys. Okay. I couldn't resist it. So, if you guys notice when I make ceviche, because shrimp can get expensive, I'll slice half of them halfway, like this, and then we're gonna chop them, okay? You wanna chop them into smaller a bit so that it can cook a lot faster. It doesn't have to be perfect. And if you know anybody from Sinaloa, you better get started on some ceviche because that's pretty much like tortillas and beans to our <laughs> friends from Sinaloa. Saludos, amigos. You know the most ignorant question I, um, I hear people from Sinaloa get? What? Are you a drug lord? Are you a mafioso? Oh my gosh. It's like, come on. So archaic to think that way. Put it way. to rest, put it to yeah, rest. Yeah, good night, everybody. But don't mess with them, because they probably do know no one. <laughs> I think everybody almost does now. Yeah, everybody, <laughs> everybody knows one, right? Um, all right, so we're just gonna go ahead and continue to, um, let me see. This pile, I'm gonna continue to do that way. Uh, chop it up into smaller bits. And then this one, I'll chop it up into a little bit chunkier, but thinly sliced as well. So that's how you make this go a long way, okay? If you guys want more chopping, let me know. I'm still trying to decide what knives we're getting. And yes, I do have a stone. Soy Mexicana. Like, I can remember my dad always sharpening his knives on a stone. His machete. <laughs> <laughs> I say knife, but it is a machete. But I will share this story with you guys while I'm chopping these up since we're chatting. Um, whenever we would go hiking with my father and he heard a snake, he would make everybody stop. Kind of like the uh, fools rush in, cascabeles, and everyone stops. But well, without a word, it was with a look. He yeah. would turn around, look at us, and we need to stop. Yeah, my dad's tribal. It, it was, it was with that look. We either handed him a stone or we, he pulled out his knife. 
Yeah, and he would grab his knife, guys, just like this, his pocket knife, okay? Wild. Be careful okay. with your hands. Like this, and he was just like out there, like he was in the, I don't know, he was in his element, you know? So he'd go like that, and then boom, he'd shoot it out like an arrow, and guess what? He'd dig his hand into the little bush. I don't know how this man heard it, but he would, uh, he would get rid of that snake, so. And that's in our culture, too. I mean, he would eat it. He would uh, skin you put it. Put respect and on it. Make jewelry or beef something jerky. Out of hide. Beef mm -hmm. jerky. I've tasted snake before, friends. Dehydrated snake. Mm -hmm. I was really little. I'm so brave. <laughs> but yeah, I've had all kinds of game meat. I was more adventurous than you were. I'd eat her share. <laughs> well, girl, it's because you have you you have like an iron deficiency a little bit, Kendall. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Not anymore. I don't know. Sometimes you do. Sometimes I see as you looking weak. Yeah, as an adult, I had it. I had it big time. Maybe because you're on that steady uh, lentil soup. Yeah, that's true. That helps me a lot. Yeah. All right, friends. Let me finish chopping this up, and I'll meet you guys for our next step. Pour your lemon lime juice. I like lime juice when we're doing ceviche, just because the key lime is so strong and potent that it cooks it a lot faster. At least to me, that's how I feel, and you can smell. Ooh, I love it. My mouth is watering. So go ahead and add your chopped shrimp. I know you're gonna wanna say, I'm gonna try it with whole shrimp because you guys are gonna get greedy with it, but this is uh, more of a lighter and it t does taste better when the shrimp are a lot smaller. I mean, you can have this as a meal, but um, we like to serve it before we're gonna make like the main dish, just so the kids and our guests have something to nibble on. Yeah. Or us, too, because um, you guys know I'm always in the kitchen, and now Cloud, any, her free time is now spent with us. And most of her free time. You guys know she went out. <laughs> and um, Here we go. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I really enjoy this as a snack, or even a late-night late, like late night snack. If I have a little small bowl of chips, or if I get hungry, um, this is pretty light for me. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and put a plate over this, and I'm going to put it in my refrigerator um for about 15 minutes and to keep it really cold i'm actually going to put it 15 minutes in my freezer if you guys have space go for it but either or will work to make your sauce for this delicious shrimp guacamole you're going to need your cucumber the seeds <laughs> yeah the seeds of the cucumber well they, you guys saw it at the beginning but thank you for clarifying for the skippers i know you guys are busy <laughs> you're going to add your chiles Hey, I look out for everything. Yeah, and I'm going in mommy mode apparently. And if you guys wanted to use a tomatillo, that's when you add it. We're gonna add our avocado. Some salt to taste. That's about one teaspoon. El aguacate. Aguacate. You know what that means though, right? Aguacate? <laughs> no, yes, but do you know why it's named that? Why? Porque parecen Oh, because they look like huevos rancheros. <laughs> Cause going like that over here, guys. <laughs> All right. Um, so you're gonna add the juice of half a uh, key lime, if that's what you're using, or just a sprinkle, just so it doesn't oxidize on us. And our cilantro. And we're gonna blend it until it's really smooth, okay? We want it to be creamy. I'm here with you. Ah! Okay, if something gets stuck, you're gonna have to bring the garrote, or some of you guys know it as the macana, okay? Gosh, so, no, you did it. <laughs> it's true. We're set. Next step. Let us know in the comments what you call a garrote, okay? Because the other word I use is also known as something else, but that's not what I mean. If you guys watch like Spanish news, you guys know they always say, um, el pretendiente lo agredieron con una macana. You know what I mean? <laughs> so what do you guys call this uh, where you're from? A wand? A wand. <laughs> If you see, this cooks it in between an aguachile 
and a ceviche if you leave it for 15 minutes. Now, if you leave it for about an hour, two, and if you want it really chewy, um, you need to leave it overnight or six hours, okay? But for Cloud and I, we love the texture, so we're gonna go with 15 minutes and it's nice and cold. Now we're gonna add our, our guacamole. And we like the um, texture right when it's cooked. When you see it's like, yeah, when it's turning pink. like in between that huachile, and yeah. that, that's kind of what we end up sticking to. Mm -hmm. But before we do that, I kind of want to taste this with the cucumber because I know I have keto friends, and you guys ask me for keto recipes. Here you go. Let's take a bite. That's really good. You want to try it? Can you? Mm hmm. Oh, yeah, come here. Yeah. Apparently I'm really hungry today. So if you guys can't eat the chips, use uh, cucumber chips. Add your purple onion. Or whatever onion you have on Some hand. Some people call it red onion. Red onion, I call it purple. Es que soy so do I. La cebolla morada mexicana, pues. Mm -hmm. So go ahead and start scooping your guacamole. I'm gonna need something friendlier. I hope you guys are cleaning this spick and span because you don't want to add water to this, okay? And before you guys start skipping, I'm gonna skip it for you right now. Look, you guys are just gonna see a regular dish. See, and then you have that, and now you can begin to mix. Like for example, if you're gonna give this to the kids, make sure you leave it in your refrigerator for at least three to four hours, okay? Because I know some of you worry. Ay, que delicioso. It is delicioso, nothing will be left. Mix that in. Now you're gonna mix your cucumbers and you can add your, your veggies however you'd like. You guys know I have, I don't know, I have issues sometimes. And I'm all over the place, but I'm here with you. Que es lo que importa, ¿verdad? That's, what, that's what's important. The Spang Spanglish monster's gonna come get you. She's listening. Well, she can listen and learn something, amiga. Okay. I, I, these are the moments where I feel like Selena, girl. And it might not just apply to Mexican-American. It might apply to um, two cultures, right? And you're living somewhere else. Like for example, me being here, born here in the States, but having a Mexican, like a super Mexican mother uh, from Sonora, Riva Sonora, you kind of feel like you're not Mexican enough when you're in Mexico, because you're called a gringa. And then here in the States, we're called Mexican, but it's just like back and forth. It's like juggling two worlds. And sometimes the Spanglish, it just comes natural. And it's like our own culture for us uh, Mexican, uh, Americans and indigenous mixed people. So let me know if you guys feel like that sometimes. Here we are. Here we are. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> the diaries. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's taste this. All right, friends, let's serve us some delicious shrimp con guacamole. ¿verdad? And for those of you that are watching your diets and don't want to eat too much, make sure you invest in these little bowls that you see at restaurants. They're great. Um, they're linked in our Amazon storefront and the kids love eating out of these. I think that makes them feel like they're eating out. So don't be shy with this. Okay. These are all good things for you. Now, if you have high cholesterol, watch out with the shrimp and switch it to fish perhaps, but no se me preocupe. Look at my big handful of chips, okay? They're like, get a, get a handful. Don't invite me for a handful because I will take the whole bowl. I'm gonna give you hikama sticks next time. Oh girl, I need, I need a few things to top this with. Hold on. As always, Views Club and Bell Notification Squad, Cloud and I completely adore you. We wanna thank you so much for sharing us with your family, with your friends, and for following us on all our social media. And I'll get tongue tied so you guys don't need to hear that, but thank you so much. Make sure to subscribe, click the bell for notifications, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye! Adios! I need a few chiltepines. Don't play, use it how, use the chiltepines how your mother taught you. Oh, no, my, my mom's from the north, guys. <laughs> and I like, I have my sinuses going all wild with our allergies, so no, I'll be rubbing my face.
Pero me gusta mucho el chile. I like chile. Okay. It's my favorite kind of chili. Yeah, we grew up on always having this. Like people have salt pepper. We have mm -hmm. these at our at our table. This and I backyard. love. Yeah. Um, Cloud linked this one. If you guys can't get a hold of it at your grocery store, it's definitely delicious. It's so amazing. El Capitan. El Capitan. The salsa negra is the dream. Best with seafood. Right? Mexico lindo. Mexico lindo y querido. Y que me traigan aquí. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> She's getting ready. So if you love salsa and chips, les digo, you're going to love this one. A ver, abran la boca, open your mouth. You guys know if you see that on your plate, you're going to lick it. I'm no different. Apparently I'm licking everything. You woke up hungry, girl. Are you okay? <laughs> What'd you do last night? I've been working out. I wasn't with you. What were you doing? I've been working out. Mm -hmm. I want receipts. <laughs> I'll have to record it on Lasagna so no, I can no have recording. Food. You know how I get receipts. <laughs> I'll get you when they come for you. Mm. This is so good. I love the balance of the tomatillo and the lime juice. Está buenísimo. But we're gonna pack it up because we gotta go. I hate to eat and run, but I gotta eat and run. Yeah. I'm gonna pack it. Mm -hmm. Tell them, sis. Tell them, sis. <laughs> <laughs> we love you guys. Ay, que bueno salió.